CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Magandang gabi, Pilipinas, at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI, Celebrity Style Inspiration, the Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle Pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We promise you an episode na punong-puno ng balita as usual, kaya tutok lang po kayo on what we hope is your weekly early evening habit every Wednesday online with CSI. To start off, let's take a look at this week's winners and downers. Winner ang pagka-second runner-up ni Leren May Bautista sa naganap na Miss Globe pageant noong October 23 sa Montenegro. It was Alejandra Diaz de Leon, Soler of Mexico, who was crowned Miss Globe 2019 with Carla Jean Lares of Trinidad and Tobago as first runner-up. Last year ay pumasok sa top 15 ang pambato ng Pilipinas na si Michelle Kumabaw habang si Ann Colis naman ang kauna-unahang Pilipina na naging Miss Globe when she won in 2015. Downer muli ang patuloy na bangayan ng Barreto sisters after ng cremation ng kanilang ama na si Miguel Barreto. Nagpa-interview si Marjorie kay Karen Davila and denied Gretchen's allegations that she had a nervous breakdown that night. She blamed the tension on Gretchen and businessman Atong Ang na inagaw daw ni Gretchen from their niece Nicole. Pero inamin ni Marjorie ang paratang ni Gretchen na matagal na ring widely alam sa showbiz na mistress siya ng dating Caloocan City Mayor Recom Echeverry who is also the father of her youngest child. Agad namang nagpa-interview si Claudine sa programa ni Jobert Sukal dito on DZMM at sinabing isa sa nanakit sa kanya ang pamangkin niya at anak ni Marjorie na si Julia Barreto na lalong ikinalungkot niya dahil mama ang tawag sa kanya ni Julia habang lumalaki ito. Claudine also confirmed na naging boyfriend nga ni Nicole si Atong Ang na dininay naman ang relasyon niya sa third generation Barreto na nakaaway din ni Gretchen nung dumalaw siya sa wake. Pero nilinaw ni Claude na parang si Edo Manzano si Atong Ang sa buhay nila na adopted son ang turing ng kanyang mga magulang. Dahil sa closeness as business partners ni na Atong at Tony Boy Coanco na longtime partner ni Gretchen and I quote from Claudine in her interview, iisipin mo pa ngang si Nadada at Atong ang may relasyon. Si Dada, of course, is Tony Boy Cohuanco. Sabi ni Claudine, she doesn't see any hope na magkaayos silang magkakapatid anytime soon habang ang tanong pa rin naman ng bayan ay sino ba sa kanila ang nagsasabi ng totoo. Winner naman ulit tayo with this follow-up from Isa Iglesias' certified CSI report on Janine Gutierrez last episode. Sa ginanap na 2019 Q Cinema International Festival, which screened some 70 films, tinanghal na best actress si Janine para sa pelikulang Babae at Baril at nanalo rin ang director ng movie na si Ray Red as best director. Janine's movie also won the Gender Sensitivity Award, what with this year's theme for Q Cinema. At least sa magandang winner tayo, nagtatapos ngayon at hindi sa magulong downer na siguradong pag-uusapan pa rin ng CSI team sa CSI Exchange mamaya. So that's it for this week's Winners and Downers. Stay with us because CSI will be right back. Sa pinsyensya ba? Sisiwian! Ilalanin natin ang mga batang genyo sa dalawang oras nilang tagisan ng dunong at galing. Samahan natin silang tuklasin ang mga sagot upang madagdagan pang lalo ang ating kaalaman. Break Olympics, dito lang sa The Manila Times TV. 
Welcome back on the show and let's get on with our certified CSI reports. Hello, Tina Pai. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh, pero kahit Halloween, working pa rin tayo and yes. nothing scary in our episode. Very much alive. Very much alive tayo the day before ang araw ng mga dead. Okay? <laughs> yes, at tingin ko ang iyong uh, report ay alive na alive at super fun. Yes po, super alive. Super <laughs> alive. So, Tina Pai, yes, what is your certified? CSI report This for the week. week. Po, ang bida sa ating report ay certified multi-talented. He may be known as one of the funny men of GMA, but news executive, producer turned comedian Bentong Sumaya is ready to prove he can go on stage as a singer too. The multi-talented artist, who also does hosting and acting, is set to hold his first solo concert, Bentong's amazing concert, Try Ko Lang Ha? On November 21 at the Music Museum. Happening right on his birthday, Betong, who was trained in theater back in college, said he is excited to showcase his singing prowess publicly. But why did it take him more than a decade since breaking into the scene to finally unleash the singer in him? The answer from Christina Alpad's certified CSI report. Kaya siguro umabot din ng ganun katagal. Kasi nga, di ba, parang gusto ko muna i-try kasi yung mundo ng comedy. Ay, unang-una, hosting sa mga public affairs. So, sinubo ko muna, magiging effective ba ako doon? Sumunod, parang may mga goal ka, may mga target ka. And then, pangalawa, um, yung pagiging komedyante mo. So, dahil medyo nagawa mo na, next step naman. So, at least to. Pero, two years ago, sa akin, tinanok to. Kaya lang, Feeling ko parang nakakahiya. <laughs> Ako personally nahihiya, parang feeling ko. Kaya nga, feeling ko, baka hindi ka tanggapin ng tao na marunong, na nagpe-perform ka. Dahil alam nila, nagpapatawa ka lang. Mga ganun ka. So, so ngayon, medyo, kaya, tapos nag-ipunta ka ako ng enough na tiwala sa sarili, guts, and syempre prayers, para mapagandaan ko to. And hopefully, kaya ngayon tayo ng concert ko, try ko lang. Kasi ito, try ko lang talaga. Uh -huh. Pero kung magustuhan man nila, di marami sa naman. Kung hindi naman nila magustuhan, at least the night. Di ba? At least na, di ba parang, sabi nga, try and try until you succeed. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll undergo ulit ng mga vocal, uh, uh, vocal, uh, ang tawag nito, mag-vocal mag coach. Uh -huh. And then, and then yung dance workshop ka pa, In a way, hindi man todo-todong sa'yo, pero kaya paano makas makasabay ko man siya ng uh -huh. <laughs> mga dancers. So, pati yung comedy act, yun, siyempre, hindi mawawala. Ano ko na hinayang na nauna tong pagiging komedyante? At least to, pwede mong meron kang chance sa patunayan na, ah, pwede rin palang pamalas. Siyempre, mas okay sa akin yung makilala ng bilang komedyante. Pero, hindi man ibig sabihin komedyante ka, it will limit your... Your, 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 no, your skill na doon na lang. At least to, parang unti-unti ah, pwede kang magpakita ng iba pang parang para kang, parang, para kang putahin na meron ka palang pwede pang ihain na matamis, maasim, ah, maanghang. So, ito medyo dagdag to doon sa mga putahin na pwede mong i-serve sa mga customers mo. So, yun yung inigisip ko na. Napay parang ang saya-saya ng press con, <laughs> ng concert ni Betong. Oo, oh, oh, dami oh. kagad tawanan eh. Considering na siyempre si Betong super funny. Super, oo, oh, oh, ba diba? Meron uh -huh. siyang sinabi, anong sinabi niya? Nakakatuwa. Sabi niya, ano daw po, sa sobrang star-studded ng guest niya, kasi naman po ang guest niya si Dingdong Dantes, si Alden Richards, tapos yung kanya pang idol na si Michael V. Baka mm -hmm. daw makalimutan ng mga audience na show niya yun. Na show niya yun. <laughs> Actually, pero nakakatuwa naman kasi full support ang mga big stars oh, ng oh. network niya sa kanya, which mm -hmm. means... Um, I guess not only is he a great person, pero talented din kasi hindi naman din siguro nila isusugal yung pangalan nila mm -hmm. sa show na hindi naman 
dapat nila, you know, karapat dapat uh, mm. to become a concert. Mm -hmm. But what really struck me is the fact na actually si Betong pala, whom we all know as a comedian, started out in the news department of GMA Network. Yes, Can you po. tell us a little bit about that? Um, una una po, na, ano ko na po yun ng year, baka napaghalo-halo ko na. Pero uh, late 90s po, nagsimula siya sa Pro King. Mm -mm. Tapos Pro po, King, mga kay King Cheche, ah, oh, Lazaro. Oh, po, yun tapos, yung parang mga in-depth ang kanilang mga reporting, mm -hmm, di ba? Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh. Tapos po, um, mid 2000, 2005 pa, pa taas na po, mm -hmm. na, nasa GMA News TV na siya, QTV pa po ng time yan, as mm -hmm. executive producer. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa mga shows po doon, minsan nag-on cam na siya, tapos napansin na ng mga executives na pwede pala siya. At oh, eventually, oh. yun na nga, naging comedian na po siya. Pero kasi naman pala, meron na rin siyang um, liking sa pag Arte because mm -hmm. of his theater background. Opo, opo. And schoolmate ko pala siya, PUP. PUP, yes. nako. Isa ho yan sa mga so, schools yun. na napakagagaling. Masisipag ko at very talented ang mga yes, tao po. dyan. Di ba? Kung po siya na nalaman na maraming dun sa during the event na taga PUP at product ng PUP. So yun po, nati-theater siya back mm -hmm. in college. So, sobrang passionate niya dun. Mm -hmm. Nga na medyo naiba siya ng linya. Pero nevertheless, na, na natumbok din niya. Oh, yung oh. So pag now, Ano na siya, totally artist na siya ng GMA. Yes po, yes po. Hindi na siya, siya behind the scenes. Wow, busy ang schedule niya. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, di ba? Kasi kinukwento nga rin po niya, kasi nung una, parang pinagsasabay pa niya. EP mm -hmm. siya, executive producer siya, but at the same time, nagkakaroon na rin siya ng shows until na-realize niya na parang eto na dapat. Lalo na po nung uh, refresh lang po natin yung memory ng audience na nang nag-survivor Philippines po siya. Oo, oh, 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 nga pala. Yung na talaga nag-breakout na siya at talaga, yun na. Star oh, na siya oh, nun. Oh, Kaya oh, yun nga po. eh. Tsaka, talaga namang magsha-shine mm -hmm. ang isang star kahit oh. na ano pang mangyari, yes, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. So, talaga. ano raw ang concept ng concert niya? ma-showcase lang daw po yung kanyang um, talents. Yun po. It's all about him kasi din po magpo-fall to sa kanyang birthday. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, uh, the audience will get to know more about him, especially yung kanyang singing um, ability. ability. Eh, Nagpa-sample ba? Oo. Magpasayaw pa at kanyang kakaririn daw lahat ng to. So, super... oh, so, ano naman ang singing voice niya sa oh. tingin mo? Um, pag pumikit po kayo, very Martin Yeve. Wow! <laughs> talaga? Yes, oh. Well, that's something for, for his fans and kahit na hindi niya fans, kung fans kayo ng music, eh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's worth uh, checking out Bentong, di ba? Bentong, ma'am. Be Bentong, <laughs> naku, buong-buo na yung ating <laughs> buong-buo na yung ating pag-uusap. Sorry po, hindi na namin uulitin yung take. Bentong. Oh, kasi po. naman meron din kasing popular, sinishow ko naman mm -hmm. na age ko, may popular din kasi. Comedian. Kala ko naman, inadapt kasi niya yung pangalan ni <laughs> Bentong. Hindi po pala. Kasalanan ko. Ulitin natin, ang title ng kanyang concert ay Betong. Try ko lang. Ha? O, oh, ayan ho. So, wala nang mali ang aming sinabi at this November po ang concert niya at the Music Museum. So, congratulations to you, Betong, and we're behind you cheering sa iyong pag- uh, pag-unleash ng singer within mm -hmm. you. Babalik po ang CSI. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational.
You're still with us on CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. Ngayon po, si Isa Pai naman ho ang kasama natin for our certified CSI report. Happy Halloween, Isa Pai. May pupunta ka ba tonight at magkakostume ka ba? Wala naman. Wala naman. Pero, di ba, kung magkakostume ka, siguro, kaya mo na yung pagkadiva nung report mo today for our show. Tell us about your certified CSI report. Misty, ang report ko po for this week ay may certified comeback. Certified comeback. Asia's songbird Regine Velasquez Alcacid finally marks her big screen comeback as she stars in the indie film Yours Truly Shirley, which is an official entry to the highly anticipated 2019 Cinema One Originals Film Festival. The Nigel Santos directed comedy picture features the beloved songstress as a widow who believes a young pop star played by hashtag member Wright Carion is the reincarnation of her deceased husband. Regine admits she found it challenging to regain her footing sa pag-arte, especially since it's been seven years that she last played the lead role in a movie. As Regine humbly admits, acting isn't within my comfort zone. What made her agree to do Shirley then? Isa Iglesias tells us Regine's reasons and more on her certified CSI report. No, I'm of course very happy to be part of this uh, um, festival. It's my first time. And I'm also happy to be uh, amongst co-actors. You know, I've never really considered myself an actor because I'm more of a dancer, really. <laughs> I'm the best, as a matter of fact. So, <laughs> may na mahirap uh, ilagay yung sarili ko sa sa karamihan ng mga magagaling na artista ngayon. But I'm very honored to be here. Um, actually, hindi. Uh, nang nagkataon lang na nagustuhan ko yung project, in-encourage na lang ako. Pero hindi naman ako talaga na, na influence niya. Kasi, as a matter of fact, uh, medyo matagal na ako hindi gumagawa ng pelikula. Parang, hindi ko alam, parang ay wala ako sa, wala ako dun sa tamang wish, wish yun ng paggawa ng pelikula. Ewan ko, parang tinatamad ako. Parang gusto ko lang munang kumanta. Anyway, I'm a singer naman talaga. But, uh, nung kinuwento sa akin yung story nung niligawan nila ako, <laughs> Uh, parang I got very interested with, with the character and so I accepted it. Actually, to tell you honestly, nung before my start, ayoko na gawin kasi na stress ako. Parang gusto ko pa talagang gawin to. Parang gusto ko lang sabi ko dun sa kapatid ko, pwede bang mag-back out? So, minura niya ako. <laughs> Thank you very much to my sister Kakay. Yes. Tapos sabi ko, oh, sige. Kasi apparently, takot ako sa kanya. So sabi ko, sige, gawin ko na lang. <laughs> no, but meron kasi akong gano'n na minsan hindi ako sure kung gagawin ko talaga. But, nung ginawa ko na, first day pa lang, na-enjoy ko na ulit yung buong proseso ng paggawa ng pelikula. And so, the whole two weeks for me was very enjoyable. Meron siya konteng drama. Pero basically, it's light. Uh, pero malungkot yung kwento niya eh, kasi widow siya eh. Tapos mag-isa lang siya, so medyo malungkot siya. Kaya lang comedy kasi yung genre namin, so yeah. Parang sa mga chika kanina, parang may expectation agad na ikaw yung ano, pinipeg na magbe-best actress. Nakita natin ngayon si Michelle Hill, parang ang intense nung ano. Alam mo na bang yung mga gano'n niya makakalaban mo pa na dito, Miss Reg? May labanan pala. <laughs> Oo, oh, may, may award. Hindi oh. ko alam na may labanan. Hindi naman ako na-inform. <laughs> Para mas nervousin ka. Oh. Para mas nervousin ako. Uh, like I said, I'm just very happy to be here. Uh, na mapabilang sa mga magagaling na artista natin dito. Uh, wala akong expectations. Uh, plus, uh, kung ihahambing mo naman yung yung role ko doon sa role ni Michelle Hill, parang parang kinanta niya yung 
what kind of fool am I? Tapos kinanta ko urong sulong. Ano na basitan? Thank you, Isa Pai, for that certified CSI report on the one and only Songbird. Siyempre, alam po natin lahat that besides being the OPM icon that she is, uh, si Regine has a filmography that uh, is really impressive. No? Blockbuster queen din siya sa mga nagawa niyang pelikula. At lahat ng mga leading men na kailangang maging leading men ng isang artista na babae na, yeah, who they are if you can recall. Oh, Papa P. O oh, Binoy. Aga Mulak. Oo, oh, oh, ba diba? Parang they've all had movies with Regine and really, as far as I can recall, they've all been very successful. So, I think her fans and even tayo rin in the industry, we're excited to see her uh, back on the big screen. Pero, if I remember correctly, syempre ang Cinema One Originals po, yan ay mga independent mm -hmm. filmmakers. Ikakatapos nung ni Kuya Ogi, uh, sa Kuya, Kuya West, West. di ba? Na talaga namang uh, naging best actor pa siya uh, and naging award-winning ito in um, other countries, no? Uh, Na-challenge ba si Ate Reg kay Kuya Og sa kanyang pag independent yeah. film actor? Actually, hindi naman po. Kasi sinabi ni Ate Reg yung press ko na wala naman pong si si Og sa mga gusto niyang kahakin pagdating sa kaya. Kung anong gusto niya, support lang si Miss Reg. Eh, si Oo, Og. Si Og. Si Og. And uh, sinabi rin niya na wala, wala namang influence sa career niya si ano po si Ogi pagdating oh, oh. sa and and pag walang si walang competition yeah. whatsoever de ba um, I think I think even when you interview Ogi of course we interviewed him a few episodes mm -hmm. ago when you ask him de ba what's the best part he said this what's the best part of being the husband of Regine Velasquez sabi niya it's the support that she gives me and my career and our family okay. and I think it's the same rin siguro for for Regine ganon din ka supportive si Ogi kaya yes. talaga namang nag-work ang kanilang relationship. So, um, tapos na ba yung pelikula? Or... Tapos na siya po. Ipapalabas yung Cinema One Originals this November, malapit na oh, po. Oh. And then, ayun, nabanggit ni uh, Miss Reg na super excited siya kasi um, first na indie film niya and bago lahat ulit yung pinagdaan yun yung process oh, oh. pagdating sa acting. Ano daw ang feeling to be on set again? Yes, oh. ayun po. Kakaiba kasi iba yung mga kasama niya, mga baguhan, yung director niya, yung mga co-stars niya po. Kasi yung mga nakalaang films niya, nasanay siya kay Joyce Bernard. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Mga big man, productions, ba diba? yes, Oo. Oh, oh. Ayun po, panibagong challenge yung pinahak niya ngayon. Kasi yun din naman yung habol na bakit siya lumipat sa oh, oh. ABS. Kasi marami siyang bagong na experience sa oh, career. Oh. And I think that's really what stars of their stature want to do. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga nila, if you've reached yung superstar status, you have nothing more to prove eh. And they're still there, they're mm -hmm. still thriving. Mm -hmm. Pero syempre, gusto naman nilang maka-experience ng bago. Parang pang tayo lang din. Kanya-kanya, <laughs> di ba? Like sa ating mga... Um, hobbies or or in our work we always want to challenge ourselves because otherwise boring naman ang life diba pero sila at least gawa ko ang pelikula ganyan but syempre yan po ang showbiz but i think i think it's really something to look forward to um ang ang launch nga actually of the cinema one um festival for the year hinged on regine yes. regine's come back to the big screen alala ko a few years back yung pagbabalik naman ni sharon coneta so talagang isa yan sa mga iintayin did she mention anything about awards and what she expects ah, nung sa press ko niya parang tinanong yung mga uh, stars sa ibang uh, pelikula kung napipressure ba sila kasi kasama nila sa isang film festival si Regine Velasquez. Sabi nila, oo daw, kasi si Regine yun eh, iba yung level niya. Mm -mm. Pero si Regine parang nahihiya siya, parang tatago <laughs> siya dun sa sulo kasi parang hindi niya nafe-feel na ganun siya kalaki mm -mm. pagdating sa acting. So, ayun po, medyo... Who would she be up against um, sa mga lead actresses na um, familiar tayo. Si Alessandra De Rossi, Ay, oh, oh. si Sherry Hill. Oo, oh, 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 naman. So, yun po, medyo... Medyo heavy, heavy, heavy gut. Heavy, <laughs> I don't know kung sino ang malalaman. 
Oh, oh but then nice. again, you never mm-hmm. know, Deva. And um, I think it's very admirable uh, that yung mga superstars natin gumagawa pa rin sila ng proyekto that you know um, makes them nervous, yes. de ba? Kasi pwede namang hindi na. Mm-hmm. Pero you know, I think they they like that because that's yes. where their creativity really really thrives. Yes. So uh, manood po tayo ng mga entries, of course, in the upcoming Cinema One uh, Film Festival. Mm-hmm. It's always a, a, a gold mine of of um, wonderful films talaga but supportahan po natin yan and let's all watch the yes. songbird back on the big screen thank you isa pai for your report and we'll be right back on CSI mga isyung pinag-uusapan mga palitang laman ng pahayagan impormasyon dapat yung malaman tatalakayin pupusisiin at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia Kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! And we're back on CSI Exchange. Wala po si Arlo ngayon. Uh, okay lang din kasi po, boy naman ho ang pag-uusapan namin. Kaya maganda na rin po na kaming girls lang ho ang nandito. Of course, si Nika Pai, Isa Pai, and Tina Pai. Um, Siyempre, wala naman ina- ibang pinag-uusapan ngayon ang... Pilipinas, whether they like it or not, whether we like it or not, kung hindi ang bangayan ng mga Barreto sisters. Pero sabi ko, lalaki ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Kasi, medyo pag tinignan mo yung mga pa-interview dyan ni Claudine, yung mga posts ni Gretchen, ni Marjorie, may isang fact na lahat yung tatlo agree upon. And this is, they all say that talagang naging girlfriend ng pamangkin nilang si Nicole, ang businessman na si Atong Ang. Isang tao lang ang hindi nagsabi na totoo yon at siya lang ay si Atong Ang. Okay? Maaalala nyo po that uh, earlier last week, uh, Atong Ang came out mm-hmm. with a statement and I think an interview also with um, Egan and Ali sa DZBB. Nasabi nyo, wala naman daw proof na naging yung girlfriend mm-hmm. kahit na sino pa sa kanilang mga Barreto sisters. Mm-hmm. Uh, ang tanong ko sa inyo, dapat pa bang nagsalita si Atong Ang? <laughs> diba? At naniniwala ba kayo sa sinabi niya? Mm-hmm. Unahin na natin ang pinakabata sa uh-huh. aming lahat. <laughs> Uh, walang iba po kung hindi ang well-researched na researcher na si Nika Pai with the shawl. Hi, Nika yes. Pai with the shawl. Ang ganda ng shawl, ha? It brings out your eyes. Oh, <laughs> blue eyes. Okay. Ano naman masasabi mo? Dapat ba nagsalita pa si Atong Ang? Um, parang kasi there's always two sides naman po. And um, kahit may sinabi si Atong Ang and yung Barreto sisters, parang ang dami pa rin lumalabas na pictures and mga kwento. So, mahirap po paniwalaan. Mahirap i-deny, no? Actually, mas nakaka... Ngayon nga, noon kasi, di ba? And Claudine said this in her radio interview sa DZMM. Nasabi niya, di ba ako pa nga yung na-chismis before kay Atong? But mm-hmm. with the pictures that we saw, usually it's, it's Atong Ang, Nicole, their niece, and then... Claudine, di ba? Parang totoo nga yung sinabi niya na pinabantayan niya nung mm-hmm. time na yon si Nicole dahil bata, bata pa nga at wala pa atang 18 years mm-hmm. old. So, ikaw naman, anong masasabi mo kay Mr. Ang? Hindi huya yan yung boss namin, ha? <laughs> wala at related ho, ha, Mr. Atong Ang. Ayan, kasi dami ng pati Ramon Ang napasok na rin, eh, di ba? So, so, linawin natin ang pinag-uusapan po namin si Atong Ang, he's the man, di ba? <laughs> At siya lahat na naging boyfriend. Oh, what can you say? Should he have spoken sa stature niya uh, mm. and in the middle of all of the, all of the, parang catfight eh, no? Mm. Itong mga, mga magkakapatid. Mm. Ano sa tingin mo, Isa? Sa tingin ko, hindi na ata kailangan. For me po, para kasing lumalabo-labo lalo yung mga, ano, eh, mga facts. Tapos, iba naman yung lumalabas sa social media kasi may, may mga pictures nga na lumalabas na kasama niya si Claudine Gretchen, si Uh-oh. Nicole. So, yun, sa tingin ko, dapat din na siya sumali pa kasi nga parang medyo lumalabo lalo, lumalaki lalo. Lumalabo issue. ang malabong, uh. ang malabong <laughs> issue. Diba? Kasi doon lang, doon eh. Doon na parang everything's been said. Parang talagang ang ang root ng away nila, if we also take it from 
Marjorie's interview, mm. eh, you know, yung atong ang factor. Yeah. So, siya talaga. Mm. Tina, ikaw, dapat ba nagsalita pa si Atong o hindi? Parang dapat po naging si Dada na lang siya. No, yeah, oh, na yeah. no, oo, oh, oh, yeah. Lang, ano si na. Dada. Kilala na ng lahat si Dada. Si Dada, yun mm -hmm. na yung tawag niya. Yes. Yung, dapat quiet na lang siya kasi nakipatol pa siya sa away ng mga girls. Oo oh, oh, nga eh. Ta actually, totoo yun. Kasi nga, well, ako kasi, syempre, Unfortunately, well, I don't want to say unfortunately really, pero um, ang, ako naman, I've really always heard about Atong Ang either from the time of President Estrada yeah, yeah. or sa totoo lang, lately, and when I say lately, in the past several years, always in connection to Abareto sister. Yeah. Uh -huh. So parang yun lang din naman yung pagkakaalam ko sa kanya. But if he wants to also establish himself as the businessman Atong Ang that he's supposed yeah. to be, you know, dapat nga para na siyang si Dada Tony mm -hmm. na hindi na muna siya nagsalita. Mm -hmm. Ito naman, opinion ko lang. Kasi kahit anong sabihin natin, ang gaganda ng Bareto sisters, <laughs> siguro, baka naman biglang na-feel din ni Mr. Atong Ang na, wow, di ba? Tatlong oh, mga Bareto yeah. sisters. Parang, I'm the man. Kasi nga, yung mga you pictures already. niya ngayon, naka-muscle shirt pa siya na white, di ba? At cool na cool. Baka medyo nadala siya sa situation because... Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a bragging right for some men, but well, ayoko na lang magsalita, pero na tatlong magkakapatid or magkakamag-anak naging girlfriend niya. I don't know. But yes, what we do know, all of us agree here, is that he should have already kept quiet yeah. siguro. No? Um, kasi, uh, diba? Kasi actually, ang mga hindi niya sinasagot, which he should, if if totoo nga, eh yung sinabi ni Marjorie mm -hmm. na pinapaalis niya sa weight yung uh, mga pamangkin yeah. at supposedly that's what caused the whole the whole commotion and the drama there. And secondly, if talaga bang siya yung nagsimula na mag-reach out mm -hmm. to grab Marjorie. Allegedly. And oo, oh, oh, kasi, you know, everybody's saying na the Barreto sisters um, should have been more you know, proper uh, in front of President Duterte. Pero, di ba, di, if, that's the, if that's what we're saying sa Barreto Sisters, dapat lahat din ang tao. Yeah. Oh, so, dapat din si Mr. Atong Ang. Eh, hindi siya nagsimula ng gulo kung siya yun. So, mm -hmm. dahil nagsalita siya, baka dapat sagutin na rin niya yung mga yun. Eh, nagsalita yeah. na siya eh, yeah. di ba? <laughs> oh, tuloy-tuloyin mo na po. Oo, oh, oh. at dada, you're doing the right thing. <laughs> ang isa lang natin, hindi naman alam kung magsasalita rin, is um, of course former mayor Recom yeah. Echeverry yeah. na for me rin naman very serious naman yung involvement niya in the whole in the whole bruhaha mm -hmm. dahil ang ang allegation naman sa kanya ay napaka seryoso yeah. and um that's probably kasi from here on parang lately pare-pareho na din ang naririnig natin sa tatlong magkakapatid mm -hmm. uh, and whether it's Julia or Nicole medyo pare-pareho na din ang mga sinasabi nila and if there's anything that's going to be new, mm -hmm. uh, yung, yung parang banta ni Gretchen mm -hmm. na si Claudine mm -hmm. ay mag sa ng molestation, molestation case. case against uh, Mayor mm -hmm. former Mayor Recom Echeverri. So, nakakapagod. <laughs> <laughs> nakakapagod po. Hindi pa tapos. Eh. Pero hindi pa tapos. Oh. But of course, like all of you watching us, Hindi rin po namin mabitawan watching them. Apart from the fact that we, we, you know, really try to keep our readers in the Manila Times updated, whether it's a, a print edition namin and also online, um, and of course here on the show. Eh, kahit na pa idinay mo, eh, talagang mapapalingon ka, mapapatingin at mapapanood, mapapanood ka because you know this doesn't happen very often and yeah. much as ang sad part lang is it's not a teleserye mm -hmm. it's actually real life. yes real, real life show. reality <laughs> show at saka fashion hunga daw oh oh di ba <laughs> yes and especially especially then um i guess for for parents trying to raise their children um with with the values na alam ng mga pilipino kasi mm -hmm. di ba kahit na pa modern times na ngayon tayong lahat din naman we also still hold on to certain values that yes. we have as Filipinos and as, as well, sa karamihan sa atin, mm -hmm. yung belief natin, yung religion natin. And um, to always hear these things, kasi ako rin, I was watching Marjorie's uh, interview, my sons were there. And you know, they were saying to me, because diba, nagtatrabaho tayo noon, so they were saying, Mom, what's she saying? And I go, ah, 
I have to be quiet first, mom's working. Yun na lang. <laughs> in escape ko na lang. At ang hirap naman din kasi yes, i-explain. Yes. So, sana, well, although nakaka-intriga, um, public figures really have to be more responsible with the yeah. things that they, they say, they air out, uh, they and post. they post. Um, kasi, di ba, syempre, merong hindi dapat makarinig. Di ba, muna, or... Mm -hmm kung ano man. So, ano naman mapapayo natin sa Barreto Sisters? Sana ganito kayo ka-happy at ka-one kami, di ba? Wala naman kaming pinag-aawayan. If ever, chichiria lang. Or, to. Oo, oh, ay, plugging yan. Ah. Basta, merienda lang po. Merienda lang po ang pinag-aawayan namin. Oo, oh, oh, mahablang ka siya. So, di ba? Life naman can be Life can be simpler, mm -hmm. de ba? Basta ano lang, ko kalma lang, ko malmalang, at de ba? Parang really look inside you, siguro, mm -hmm. siguro iba parin naman ng blood at dito go, de ba? Yeah. You all came from the one mom. We hope, we really hope, honestly, that that they sort it out, or if they don't, magsettle down na. Yeah. Oo, para. Oo, oh, kasi medyo. Hirap na rin ho ang mga manonood. <laughs> Kasi hirap na rin ho tayo at nagsusura. At sabi nga lang nung isang, nung mga status na yun, sabi ng isang tao, post niya, ang dami-dami na rin yung iniisip sa buhay niya, nakadagdag pang mga bareto. So, wag na ho niyong dagdagan. <clears throat> Para quiet naman. Uh, yan na lang po ang masasabi namin sa inyo. So, yan po ang episode namin today of uh, CSI Exchange. We'll be right back for more on CSI. Tapos na naman po ang isa pang episode ng CSI and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed putting everything together for you. Thank you as always to my hardworking team. Si Arlo po na hinahanap pa po si Atong Ang ngayon. <laughs> Dina, Iza, Nika, of course, ang buong team po namin uh, from the Manila Times Digital TV headed by Jesse. Um, and uh, we really hope that every week po I, uh, you make it a habit to join us here on CSI. You can still watch our past episodes on the Manila Times TV and CSI Facebook. Facebook pages and on www.maninatimestv.com Of course, we're the online edition of the oldest and longest running English newspaper in the Philippines and in Asia. Log on to manilatimes.net Yes, thank you for keeping us company and dahil Halloween ngayon, we'll leave you with scenes from Star Magic's Black Magic costume party where, where you'll see your favorite stars uh, scary and spooky. Happy Halloween po sa inyong lahat and Boo or buy. <laughs> buy and boo. See you next week.
CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration.